Welcome to Little Home Projects. In this video, I'm mounting a pre-built medicine cabinet to replace this temporary vanity mirror. We found this medicine cabinet at our local box store. It was the pre-built display model. We got a great deal on it, got it for 75% off, and I'm going to go ahead and mount it into our bathroom. It's not perfect, but all the imperfections make it a great buy. In the store, it was mounted by just these two screw holes in the top of the back of the medicine cabinet. I don't have the service manuals to know if I'm mounting it right, so I'm just going to make sure to put some extra thought into how it's going to sit on the wall. I decided for added support, I'm going to use some washers against the top of the back of the medicine cabinet. This will support the top, as well as pulling it nice and tight to the back of the wall. I used a stud finder to find the studs in my bathroom. I knew they weren't going to line up to where they had the holes originally drilled, so I'll have to be drilling my own. The stud finder was giving me some kind of inconsistent results because of the type of insulation we have in our walls. I think I found the right spot, so I marked down with a level to give me a nice straight line from the top to the bottom. I measured those marks from the outside of the wall, so I had a clean measurement to be able to transfer the marks to the inside of the cabinet for later on. Something else I wanted to do was find the dead center of where I wanted the medicine cabinet to be. It just so happened that my light is already mounted in this right spot, and my sink is already mounted in the same spot, so it was a pretty easy measurement. But I transferred a line of that center mark from the top to the bottom. I did a rough dry fit to make sure that I liked the way the medicine cabinet was going to sit. I decided it could be a little bit higher, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit and go ahead with mounting it. To make sure it was in the right spot, I found the dead center of the medicine cabinet. I put a piece of tape down to protect the medicine cabinet from the pencil mark, and then I drew the mark of the center line. I repeated the same steps for the bottom, binding the center, putting down a piece of tape, and marking the line. Now I'll be able to line these two marks up with the center line that I drew on the wall. I also measured from the center line to where the studs were on my wall. I'll be able to transfer this mark to the inside of the medicine cabinet. That way I'll know where to drill my holes. I discovered quickly it was going to be easier to remove the front doors off the cabinet before I drew my marks on the inside. I transferred the center line wall measurements to the inside of the cabinet, finding center and then measuring out from that line. I put the washers where I wanted them to be and then used a marker to mark the center of the washer. This is where I'll drill my holes. I used a drill bit that was just a little bit smaller than my screws, that way everything would pull together nice and tight. With the holes drilled and the marks marked, I can move the medicine cabinet into place and make sure everything lined up. I found that my center line didn't come down low enough, so I had to extend it. I used a level on the top of the medicine cabinet to make sure that it was nice and straight. This was definitely the hardest part of the entire job. Getting it in the right spot, making sure it was level, and then getting some screws into place to keep it from moving. If you have an extra pair of hands, it'll go a long way here to making this part of the job a lot easier. With the first screw in place, I checked for level again just to make sure, adjusted, and went ahead and screwed in the next screw. I found with just the two screws on the top it wasn't enough, it still wanted to wiggle around on the bottom, so I threw a couple extra screws into the studs at the bottom as well. To make sure the screw would pull as flush to the wall as possible, I got a slightly larger bit to bore out just a little bit of the surface so the screw would sink into the wood. I repeated those same steps on the other side and went ahead to drill in the screw. And this is when I found that I had missed the stud. Looks like I was off by almost a half inch and it wasn't my measurements, the stud itself was probably just a little bit bent. Uh, but in any case I still missed so I had to pull the screw back out and move it over a little bit and try again. It went in just fine the second time though. I repeated the drill step to bore out a little bit for the surface of the head and screwed it down tight. As soon as those bottom screws were in, it felt much more solid. I went back to the top to tighten up those screws because I left them just a little bit loose in case I needed to adjust anything. And as I was tightening these, I found that the top left screw was also missing the stud. So my stud finder was definitely off or something I did was wrong. So I pulled it back out and moved it over a half inch and re-drilled it. And that got the job done just right. I'll come back to these a little bit later on and paint the screw heads and the bolts white so they're not so obvious, but really once the doors are on, you don't notice them anyway. 
I took a pencil eraser and went through the entire space just to erase all the pencil marks that I had drawn on the wall. And the final step for mounting this is to reattach the doors again. I made sure that each door went back in the exact same position, and I threaded the screws in by hand just to get them started so that I knew that I wasn't twisting the door frames at all. Did this for each of the doors, and pretty quickly it was done. I tested each of the doors to make sure everything opened up the way they were supposed to, and everything worked smoothly. One last additional thing I did for this medicine cabinet was because it was a display model, it did have some dings and scratches on it. I picked up a white wood filler crayon, and I just wanted to test this out to see if it would make a difference. And I found that it was acceptable. Uh, probably would have been simpler to just use paint, but this did the job just fine. It was a $2 pen. Uh, you filled about three or four scratches, and I have 99% of a pen left. And that finished the install of the pre-built medicine cabinet. I found this to be a relatively simple project. I was afraid of how much weight the screws would be able to support, but really giving it a good pull, it really feels solid. I'm pretty happy with it. The main things to keep in mind though is if you're drilling into your walls, you want to make sure you hit a stud, and you also want to make sure there's no wires or plumbing where you're going to be drilling, so make sure that you're clear there. When you're hanging the medicine cabinet, if you have an extra pair of hands to hold it still while you're mounting it, it'll make the job a lot easier as well. That's it for this video. This has been Little Home Projects. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.